Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back doing another brawler only. So today we're doing Fang only. Fang, definitely one of my uh, signature picks I'd say last year. I was pretty good at the brawler. And um, yeah, honestly, uh, I felt like it was in a bad place for a while. But right now, I think it's in a pretty decent place actually. So I've been having a lot of fun playing it. And uh, not only, I think it's best mode is probably knockout, but I've been doing it a lot in Brawl Ball, like uh, right now as well. Um, so yeah, pretty much on this map, it's just mid control. This is a terrible fan game on paper. Uh, Shelly, Stu, of course, like Shelly just hard counters Fang. Stu's pretty good counter to it too, it's hard to kill it. And uh, even Gus itself, because of the shield and the knockback, is pretty decent in the Fang, I'd say. But I think I can make it work and I play it pretty well. So uh, yeah, it's all about like timing and looking when to go in and uh, yeah. Obviously you do have that long range, so Badger does a good job going in there. I know that the Shelly is the main threat. I could have gone for the Gust there, but the Shelly's just going to kill me after, so I want to get the Shelly out of mid, then kind of use my HP uh, just to get mid control back. And my Bell is hitting some really good shots as well, and uh, yeah, just well played from the team here. Find the Shelly in the bush. Not going to super in on him. <laughs> Maybe when he's one shot I will, so Badger does a good job getting him low. And uh, yeah, you can see I'm on the popcorn gadget actually, and uh, that shot, I don't think that shot goes in. <laughs> but the popcorn gadget got a buff recently, and I think that's one of the reasons why Fang has become like better, uh, because you can use it to like win lane now. So um, yeah, it's pretty good. You can see there, I do manage to sneak through mid using the Leon turret, which I think is also really good on this map. Um, and we're gonna get mid control off of that. Badger, nice little dodge there. And uh, my team does a good job cleaning up as well. But the popcorn gadget is just really good area denial. It actually does like a good amount of damage now as well. Gonna go in and finish the Shelly off there. And uh, yeah, you don't need to connect with all your supers. Obviously, if you can, it's good. But um, sometimes just like getting in the right position with your supers. Uh, <laughs> see, a little optimistic here, <laughs> ruining the KD. But uh, that's okay, we will win the first game, 2-0. Alright guys, so game number two. Um, so yeah, pretty much I'll talk over the start this time, just so I give you guys what's going through my head. I think this start was a little more rough, but I don't want to go down lane because I know Shelly's going to play Pigeon most likely. And uh, yeah, I think that kind of makes it pretty hard. Going down at the start is really bad. Um, especially like... I don't know. Just uh, it makes it really hard. Definitely went a little too aggro there. I don't really mind that. I get him one shot. I'll get his gadget out as well. Always good burning through gadgets if you can. They're not really in a position to score. That's why I say I don't really mind that. Um, but yeah, you can see my Bell is doing a really good job actually. <laughs> Bell is just like 1v2s casually. It's going to go down, but well played to the Bell. That was <laughs> a little optimistic. Uh, yeah, it's late, so I don't fang super three quick pigeons but he was one shot so i got baited but i don't know um definitely not the right play there and uh yeah i see the shelly is in a pretty good spot to score but i also see that like we could potentially score so i'm gonna go up and try my best i think the bell can walk this in i'm like pretty sure the bell can walk that in um but that's okay bell got a aggro trap and it's actually like tapping like really hard so not gonna complain uh, this is all because the Bell's just hitting so many shots right here. I didn't even see this before, but Bell did such a good job there. You can see the popcorn just getting some position as well. And I'm able to just walk it in at this point. So I'm just wasting a little time at the end there. Um, and yeah, we're going to be up 1-0, to zero, so definitely arguing to lose at this point. Shelly's all out of clay pigeons. Got to burn through those gadgets when you can. Badger, you get some pretty low. It's not the end of the world. Like, I don't think we're going to try fighting for mid control here. Um... So, I don't really mind that, but as long as they don't score, it's good. And uh, nice shots there from the Bell once again. Bell played really good. And yeah, good mark as well. So, the Bell's just going kind of crazy here. I get mid control, just, oh, I don't really do anything. I just walk through mid. I'm going to go down. Doesn't really matter at this point, as long as we can hold mid. Um, we're not, like, I guess I probably shouldn't die there, but I don't think it was the end of the world. Um, I don't think they'll score, though. Let me see. It should be fine. Uh, actually, Shelly has a super. They're going to score. Okay, I shouldn't have used my super there either. But 
I don't think our comp's horrible in overtime. It might seem weird, like, fang into this. But pretty much, I just have to dodge a stew shot when he tries, like, cycling his super. So I'll dodge that one. And uh, he's killable for me right now, yeah. So he's not long dash, so he can't really get away. Bell's been hitting some good shots there as well. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna clean up, like, just gonna <laughs> casually score, you know. Not, like, not personal. But uh, overall, well played for everyone on the team. Alright guys, game number two. Now, this is probably my favorite thing map in the game right now. I actually hated this map so much, like Pinball Dreams, but then I realized I could play Fang here, and the reason why I think it's so good is because I can just peek walls like this really well. And uh, they went Buzz, last pick to counter me. I see the max is one shot, so I'm just going to go straight down there. Like I said, you don't always have to hit them with your super. We got a lot of position off that. We maybe could have scored. I waste a gadget there. I am the stun this time just because they have a buzz. Otherwise it would be popcorn, but I think you bring stun still into Daryl, buzz, and you'll see the interaction later on in the video. But um, oh and Carl. Carl you bring stun in too just for canceling the super, otherwise he kills you. So I didn't get the stun off in time and unfortunately I do bounce there as well. And uh, the bounce really messed me up. It took like a second and I don't know, it, it just messed me up so I couldn't kill him. But we're going to be down 1-0. Uh, I definitely misplayed there by not sending the buzz. It's like a reaction thing, you know, getting up there a bit. I still think I got good reactions though, so no excuses. The Brock opening that helps out a lot though, to be honest. Like, if buzz can sneak in the grass and like potentially stun me, like, that's how I lose my lane. But wide open lane, like, I can see him. I can just stay out of his range, poke him down a little bit, get my super. He can't hit me, right? And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to look... To get the ball in a place to score here my teammates are hitting some good shots as well I see the ball I see they're both low I'm gonna just go straight for the ball here and uh, we're gonna kill the max and yeah just gonna tuck it in the corner there as well so nice little goal well played for my teammates uh, they're hitting some good shots as well and uh, yeah this is what I'm talking about like buzzer is fang on open lane he doesn't have super I just have to stay out of his range poke him down a little bit and then when I get him like low enough I can go in for the kill here, I know he's probably getting kind of close to super, so it's just kind of like baiting each other. I'll cancel his super, and then I can clean up. I see they're all like really low. I know we can just score here. Like, they don't have a lot of damage backs and Stu. Gonna wait out the... Yeah, and I'll do a little stun goal. So, nice goal. Alright guys, game number two. Um, so yeah, pretty much we want to do the same thing. And just gonna poke him down a little bit. Buzz is gonna miss his gadget, so... There is a range with Fang where it's like you're, it shows you're out of range. I messed this up. I, I was... That looks really stupid. I thought the buzz was up top there. And uh, yeah, that's just a terrible play by me. So uh, luckily my teammate's playing good, holding it down. Um, and yeah, as I was saying though, there is like this sweet spot with Fang where I don't want to hit the stew fire here. That's why I'm waiting a little bit. I know I can kill him, so I think I go in. Yeah. And... Um, you kind of want to play like that range against like melees like primo like buzz like stuff like that and uh yeah i just need to stay alive here could get scored on nice little spike curveball there um like i said both my teammates playing really good and uh just holding it down nice shots to get the super i'm always looking to score on fang as well so pretty much you throw the ball ahead and then you back up and you can super onto it um you know it doesn't work every time but I think it's always good to threaten to score in Power League, or sorry, in Brawl Ball. Um, I don't need to gadget there, like he's not going to kill me. I could have, but I'd rather like hang on to a gadget. It's like if you're M's or something and uh, you know you can kill them without the gadget or you'll survive without the gadget, like you hang on to the gadget a lot of the time. I think it's the same thing in like these matchups where it's like so crucial to win the interaction. So sometimes, yeah, you do have to get greedy for the gadgets and uh, just everything in general. But yeah, nice uh, team play there as well. I'm going to go in to finish off. On Fang, I'm either looking to go in and finish off or go in, get everyone low, and my teammates finish off. I'm not going in expecting to like team wipe every single time. Uh, it's not like how Fang was when he came out on release. It's definitely uh, more tactical, I'd say. And uh, you obviously can't chain off like pets and everything anymore as well. But yeah, here, I'm looking to bait out some stuff. I know Badger uh, is going to look to super on me, so I'm just getting ready to gadget him. Gadget, that's the interaction. 
And uh, yeah, I'll get both of them. So nice, pretty clean play there at the end. Um, a lot of it's mind games, I feel like. So got to get in your opponent's head in matchups like Buzz vs. Fang. And yeah, just well played by everyone. And uh, yeah, we're going to take that dub. Alright guys, so this game is going to be Knockout on Bell's Rock. We me fang into Gray Sprout and uh, Sam. So, I think fang into Sam isn't really the worst thing. Because Sam has like that awkward like point where he has to like throw his gloves or he can't auto you with his gloves. And I think Fang kind of plays well into that part. So you, can hear it, you can see right there the popcorn value. I love this gadget. It's so much fun. I'll get to see some more fun plays with it in the rest of the video as well. But at this point, I think it's pretty free for us with Fang here. I just want to control the mid. The popcorn gives me like a lot of like area denial. And you can see like that sweet spot I was talking about. Like we get the two point, what is it, 2.4k with damage here? I'm not sure without 2.1 or something like that. But you can see it's like pretty like it's skill like to know the exact range against the Sam. Um, but I think it's like something you can figure out once you've done once or twice. And I like picking uh, Fang into Gray, kind of like to match their mid. I don't know, I, I just think like uh, he can't ever really TP on you. He can TP away from you, yeah. But uh, I think Fang plays really good into the distance of his shot. A little bit of a miss shield from Prodigy. Didn't really connect on the shields when I needed them. I, a pet peeve is like when I get a shield and I don't want to go in and then I just feel pressure to go in. So there are a few of that. No worries, no prodigy. I appreciate the effort. Um, we're going to lose this one. I definitely, once I go down, it's pretty hard for them into the Sam. They don't really have enough damage unless uh, Yeezy over there gets hit by every shot. He's just going to go down. There's no way you can win that. That's okay. So yeah, I do have my super. I'm out of popcorn though, unfortunately. Uh, but they have Juan Carlos on their team, so it should be a free win. And uh, yeah, I just have to kind of bodyguard the Grom at this point because Gray does have TP. He can make a play on them as well. Good try on the gadget there by counter. Hit some good shots on Juan. Probably the easiest target on their team. I'd go for him too. And uh, you can see counter is kind of sectioned off right here. So I catch on to that. <laughs> the Gray like stops and thinks about it. Like, wait, should I do this? I almost get him. Um, unlucky. If I had my popcorn, I'd definitely kill him there. But I did use the gadgets earlier. So it's 2v3. We're backed up. I know that I need to like look for like a play like right now because the smoke's gonna be coming soon. So I do get some position with that one. I think that was like really good. And uh, yeah, now I kind of just want to fight them for the mid control on this map. And uh, even if I go low, I'd rather like risk it like fighting them. I also see the gray like once he misses this shot here, I know I can go for him. You do the pre-fire uh, before you super, and then you get like an extra bit of damage. You also charge your super more as well. Uh, and unfortunate for the Sam, he tipped these. I think he forgot about it there. Juan's like, you know, he's just gonna brick every shot. That's what Juan Carlos does sometimes. And uh, yeah, we're gonna take that first round. Definitely should have won that one though. All right guys, game number two. I had a lot of fun this one, to be honest. You guys will see why shortly. One of my favorite things in Power League is when you make people tilt on the other team. I just find it so funny when they start shooting each other. You can just tell their mental's over. Uh, yeah, our guy's kind of trolling a little bit, but what a... Oh, yo, watch that back one more time. Counter, what a gadget. It's impressive, all three. Oh, he does a fourth one, too. Oh, my counter. What's that damage? So, 2v2. Oh, look, he's feeling himself, bro. He's going for the... E he's going crazy on the ground, to be honest. Does get him one. Gray definitely could have TP'd there. Um, I don't know. It looked like the Gray was on delay or something. Um... Yeah, so 1v1 against Juan, like, I'm not really worried about anything here. Uh, you can tell he's, like, stopping, trying to think of it. He's panicking, though, bro. Like, he knows I'm going to roast him so hard after all these missed shots. And, like, he is just... I'm in his head right now. Bro is lost. Like, get this guy a map. Like, where is he even aiming? I think he just gave up at this point. Like, it is just brutal. I feel bad watching this, honestly. I should probably not show this video because it's so embarrassing for him. He's going to get a wall out and, uh... You know, I'm just gonna, at that point, there's nowhere I can dodge, so I'm just gonna back out, like, I'm confident that he's gonna start missing again soon. Sure enough, there it is, the popcorn to space as well, and, uh, you can see this quality sprout gameplay. 
<laughs> this is so funny. Uh, so, like I was saying, their mental is gone. They're already thumbs down and shooting each other. Like, oh my gosh, I don't know what was going on with Juan in this one, but look at Counter again. Absolute unit on the ground. Gets ready. I, I do have to watch the great TP. But Counter's like lining up Juan. You know, I just ruined his mental. The gadget? Surely not. Axel's seen enough of Juan Carlos. I agree, Axel. Um, but yeah, 2v3, it's pretty hard for them to win. The Sam kind of has to go crazy, or the Gus, um, sorry, uh, the Gray has to cut someone out of position. But I know I can just kind of bodyguard them. And uh, when Easy gets low enough, I can just go in and finish him. And Gray does not have enough damage to kill us at this point. So really well played from everyone, especially Juan. <laughs> Alright guys, this will be the last game of the video, hope you guys have been enjoying it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and use code OG for all the pay to win stuff coming out soon. Uh, and yeah, you can see, I don't think this is a terrible fan game, like, Tara definitely counters me, but I can definitely play it and kind of like outskill I think. So Ducky's gonna be on the Tara, he kind of had a rough one on this. My main tip for Fang is like, I think I've said this before, but uh, just knowing when to go in, and uh, it looks like super mechanical, and you definitely can get mechanical, but I think that's the most important thing, like just decision making, getting in position, and uh, you know, making sure you can hit your little shoes so you can get your super. So Fang Super, it can go through a lot of animations, unless it's like a direct stun, like Buzz or another Fang or something like that. So I see the tower pull, I'm just gonna go straight at him. And uh, I think you can see the popcorn there as well. Gonna clean up the barley as well. So it's a really good fan game play there, if I don't like mind saying so myself. Um, it is like a reaction thing with Tara. Like, if he does that closer, like, it's definitely a lot harder because I am kind of getting greedy and I do want to get that first shot off before I super as well. So I know I'm getting ready to do it to him again. Ducky does it to himself that time. And uh, I do aim that shot, so I think it's important to aim your shot sometimes if there's like pets or something, obstacles. And uh, it's really easy to auto aim, but you definitely get like full like 2.4k there and get a goal off it. So definitely don't always auto aim, try using your brain sometimes. Alright, game number two. This one wasn't as clean. I think that one was pretty well played like all around. Uh, I think Ducky picks it up a little in this one as well. <laughs> and yeah, so... It's kind of weird the interaction with Popcorn Fang and the Tara pets because you can't do it when the pets are right on top of you unless you walk backwards. So I don't really mind spadging, like I can see they're going to score here so I thought I could try saving it. At this point I know it's over, I'm not going to use my gadget, but both my teammates died. I'm like one shot for the B and it's like, you know, it's just completely on him to make a mistake. He doesn't though, so I am going to go straight in here. I see Rafiki has his Primo jump. so. Sometimes when I see like a great TP primo jump, like something that's gonna hard engage like that a buzz, I'll just go in at the same time, just kind of rush it, make sure we get all the HP up there. Of course, you gotta make sure for like a Shelly super, or like you don't wanna get group super by something. But there, I think it was the right play. Uh, even though I did miss, like, I don't know, we could have scored there 100%. Um, and he's gonna do a good job. So looking for the same thing here, just gonna go buy some space. Gray's gonna TP in, and we're gonna get a clean goal off of it. Uh, they are squishier than us, so they do have to use their ammo. They can't really tank a lot of stuff. So, uh, yeah, we can definitely run them down at some point, even though they do have, like, two pretty good tank counters. Uh, so Barley Lane can't really do much. Just have to sit back and poke and uh, just make sure we don't get scored on the other side of things. And uh, Ducky almost gets it there. I think he should have just waited. He definitely could have just supered the Primo after it got its shield down and... Uh, here we just have to run it down though, so I think it's fine. I do manage to get a kill good hook on uh, the B as well. My shoe finishes it off. Don't really like that primo jump, but uh, that's okay. He's still uh, getting the job done. At this point we just have to cycle death, so till we can get like two kills I'd say and just move up the map. So I'm gonna do that, get a nice kill, and uh, I don't think I stay alive, but it's important to like just trade. You can see Rafiki, he's really good at playing tanks too. He knows, we can't wait back. 
we gotta just run down, get our supers, and uh, just get the ball out nice and slowly until we can make a play like that. So it's gonna buy us a lot of time, actually. They only have 20 seconds left, so we do need to be a little careful. Unfortunately, I do miss there. That's a pretty bad miss, but I think it should be okay. I don't think they score, yeah. It should be fine. So Prima does get jump. B supers it way too early. They're kind of rushing at this point. So I think if they just health control, it's a lot harder for us to play off of. Uh, here, I know I can just run him down. So I'm going to run him down, and he definitely did the right thing using or saving his super there. Uh, Primo, in overtime though, it's definitely very dangerous. He wastes the tar pool, so I know it's a good time. If I get one more auto there, I kill the barley, and uh, I get my super back. But I think I'm kind of close, but uh, I don't know. But I think it was alright. Okay, so I only hit two people there. That's weird. I thought I hit three. Maybe I hit a tar pad or something because it was up and you only hit three people with the bang bounce. So good kill from the gray. I know Rafiki's going to go for it. So I'm just like flashing my super like jump in little primo. Like I got you with the pass. And uh, yeah, we're going to get a nice goal there to finish the video off. So yeah guys, hope you learned a thing or two about Fang. I'm really enjoying the brawler right now. And uh, yeah, please remember to like, subscribe, and uh, use code OG in the Supercell shop. Thank you so much guys, see you next time, peace.